Um, another common question that uh, we also receive um, in email, well, especially uh, my partner Sid Cowley, uh, writer, director, book author, the list goes on. The guys, we call him Sid Cowley, a.k.a. Guy Terrifico, um, is what distributor should I sign with? That is a big question. And the main way that I answer that, I have two things to say to that question. You have two options when it comes to distributors. You can take your money up front and just cut bait and run, which um, in most cases, the money that you get up front will not cover the cost of you making your film. So it's just how deep in the hole do you really want to be? Or you can metaphorically get into bed with the distributor and get screwed. Those are your two choices when deciding what distributor should I sign with. Now, I want to talk about some of the main distributors. I call them the big three, and that's Maverick Entertainment Group, York Entertainment, and Barnholtz Entertainment. Now, I, I didn't list them in any particular order, so one's not better than the other. Snake is a snake no matter how you look at it. And again, this isn't just my opinion. This comes from a survey. This comes from talking to other filmmakers. I have yet to personally meet a filmmaker, nor talk to one, that has... Um, made a lot of money working with a distribution company. In fact, most filmmakers are starting to realize that marketing their film themselves, they're making a much more profit than they are with traditional distribution. Now, Barnholtz, uh, they're kind of the quote-unquote cream of the crop for an indie filmmaker, you know what I mean? And York Entertainment, spearheaded by Tanya York, there's... <laughs> Out of, Tanya York is in a class all by herself. I, I, like I said, I want to stay away from negativity, but I will be sending out emails to these three once the series has been released and interview them and let them clear up some of the common questions or statements that have been made by fellow filmmakers. And you have Maverick Entertainment Group. Oh, the, that company spearheaded by Doug Schwab. This guy is... He's... The, I don't even know what to say about this guy. Um, I just recently heard an interview uh, from Doug on um, Blog Talk Radio, I think, which was kind of funny because another filmmaker said that, uh, you know, I heard a pretty positive interview uh, from Doug Schwab. Now, he's been interviewed by a guy that he has a joint venture with on doing a, uh, ironically, just putting together a... Uh, filmmakers course if you will to tell you about getting a distribution deal and the guy has a distribution deal with Doug I would love to know the true numbers that this guy has with Doug chances are he sold his film straight out and Doug is a big one talking about or well, all distributors pretty much I don't want to just single out Doug so like I said I I don't know the guy personally I don't have any qualms with him I've just uh, have business with him through a third-party venture so to speak um, but I, on, in his interview, he talked a lot about having uh, name brand actors or bankable actors in your film. Now, keep in mind, we're talking to indie filmmakers, and which independent film is, the lines are kind of blurred there nowadays, because there's a movie that came out called Precious, where Tyler Perry and Oprah Winfrey were the executive producers. And I'm sorry, in my opinion, when you're throwing that, kind of much, that type of money at a film, and again, no offense to Oprah, I love Oprah, I love Tyler Perry, but when you throw that kind of money at a film, that's not an indie film. I don't care how you wrap it or what you put on it, it's not an indie film. Indie film is for the amateur filmmaker, the grassroots filmmaker. And it seems like a lot of major players um, are getting tired of the traditional uh, filmmaking, the Hollywood and the studio filmmaking, and they're stepping it down to the indie level taking away from the indie filmmaker. They're pushing the indie filmmaker right out of the market, which is, I think, is not fair at all. It's not good business. It's not good business practices whatsoever. But that's enough on the big three and my opinion on indie filmmaking.